Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Today we will discuss how stimulants work to reduce ADHD symptoms. Stimulants are the most common type of medicine used to treat ADHD. They work by increasing the availability of certain chemicals in the brain, thus making the pathways in the brain work more efficiently. Stimulants lessen ADHD symptoms in 70% to 80% of people who take them. Before we go deep into it, let's see how the brain works. Our brains are made up of nerve cells called neurons, which are separated by tiny gaps called synapses. All brain and nervous system functions are based on how these neurons communicate across synapses. The neurons relay information to each other by sending chemical messengers or neurotransmitters across the synapses throughout the neural network. Neurotransmitters are produced within a neuron. The neuron releases the neurotransmitter and it travels into the synapses. The neurotransmitter may then be accepted by the next neuron attaching to a site called receptor, thereby transmitting information from one nerve cell to another throughout the brain. In order for these pathways to work efficiently so that the messages get through, the neurons must provide and release enough of the neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitter must also stay in the synapse long enough for it to bind to the receptor site. After the neurotransmitter is released, the excess portion is then reabsorbed by the neuron that produced it. What sometimes seems to happen in individuals with ADHD is the neurotransmitter is permanently absorbed back into the neuron. When this occurs, that portion of the neural network can't relay messages in an adequate and timely way. So now let's see how stimulants work and how do they help. Dopamine and neuropanfrine play a key role in the areas of the brain responsible for regulating attention and executive functions. Stimulants medication reduces ADHD symptoms by increasing the dopamine levels in your brain. It does this by slowing down how much dopamine is reabsorbed back into the neural network. As a result, more neurotransmitter is held in the synapse between neurons long enough for it to properly bind to the receptor, helping messages within the brain be more effectively transmitted and received this improves activity and communication in those parts of the brain which operate on dopamine and neuropanfrine and signal for specific tasks here we should know that stimulant medications don't cure ADHD rather they reduce symptoms while they are active in your system brain imaging studies have demonstrated that when you are on a stimulant medication there's increased metabolic activity in the prefrontal cortex specific subcortical regions and cerebellum all important centers for executive functions these areas of the brain appear more active when neurotransmitter levels are elevated the differences in the way stimulants work may explain why some people with adhd respond to one type of stimulant medication better than the other methylphenidate research suggests that methylphenidate increases the level of dopamine by blocking the reuptake of dopamine and neuropinephrine in your brain. That is, it reduces how much of the neurotransmitter is absorbed into the neuron so that more is left in the synapse. It also promotes dopamine release from within the neurons, which sends more out into the synapse. Common methylphenidate-based stimulants includes Concerta methylphenidate extended release tablets. Focalin, dexmethylphenidate, metadate, methylphenidate, hydrochloride, retalin, methylphenidate, amphetamines, another type of stimulant medication, mostly increases the release of dopamine and neuropinephrine from the storage sites into the synapse. A less significant mechanism of amphetamines is slowing the reptake of the neurotransmitters. Common amphetamine based stimulants include Adderall and Vivance. Thank you for watching the video. If you like our video, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.